Even though it's summer, Melbourne has been unseasonably gloomy and cold and today's one of the first days with nice sunny weather as you can see and I have a bit of time, it's a Saturday afternoon, I'm going to head into the city, load up some Kentmere Pan 435mm film in my Leica MA with the 28mm lens and shoot some street. I'm going to take you along, show you some of the process, see what we run into, maybe if there's any interactions and share the shots with you. I'll see you soon. So I just arrived in the city and it's looking super busy, which is great. I've only got a few hours probably max to shoot today. And I did bring an extra spare roll of uh, Pan 400 in case conditions are great. And already just crossing over to Fed Square to record this bit, I got a couple of shots, but I have a feeling it'll be good today. So I hope you enjoy. All right, so Flinders Street is always a good place to start and warm up. There's always so much activity, probably one of the most popular places to shoot here in Melbourne and where you'll most often run into other street photographers, especially if there's some light, which there is a bit of today. It's still a bit harsh. They must be made accountable for their crimes against humanity. Come join us. It's time for people of the world to stand up for human rights. It's not just an Iranian revolution. It's a good thing. There's a lot of this construction at the moment which doesn't help, but at least the light's good. And I see this family here, it's quite interesting. I think I missed focus there, but it wasn't that great anyway. All right, pretty warmed up now and headed to Chinatown to follow the light. Which is getting pretty low already because I have a few errands to run here in the city. This is actually uh, four days before I head overseas. So by the time you've seen this video, I'll already be overseas and I'm racing against time. But here in Chinatown, you always get good light this time of the year because it's reflecting off this building up here. You can see just up there, which lasts for about an hour or so in the late afternoon. So I'll try and work this area and see what we can get. Yeah. So uh, there's a scene that could form up here because, hold on. Um, you've got the light, the reflection, and a few elements can just come together sometimes. But we'll wander around and see what else there is. So I like this scene here, I'll just wait for something else. It's another family scene here, quite interesting. No one on their phones, just having a good time, so I'll go and grab this shot. Nice wide shot. See how that ends up. That was one of the rare opportunities where I would shoot from the waist just because to get down to his eye level, I didn't have time to really duck down. Uh, so, better than having no shot at all. So I'm gonna cross the road here and head down to Burke Street Mall, which is always busy. So with that shot, I was hoping to try and get the couple in the background with the cigarette. I mean, I'm not sure if I got it because it was kind of hard to get above. You would have seen this by now, but I'm just always trying to find layers like that. Like not to just have one interesting character, but maybe a couple or some other element helping out the other. But sometimes those moments are so quick, you don't really have time to, to overthink it or to perfect the composition. Again, the gesture. It's 
it's really worth working these kind of scenes when you're trying to get all the different elements together. But again, those backgrounds are really busy. So I won't really overdo that one because it's never going to be amazing. Alright, so I wasn't really feeling too much happening there. I'm going to head back towards Flinders Street, especially now that the light isn't as harsh. There's always the most activity there. Thank you. A lot of wholesome family activity uh, today and in general at this time of the year because of Christmas and all the displays, which can make for a few good scenes like like this here. <laughs> and generally they don't really mind with situations like that as long as you smile rather than um, take it in a suspicious way I find it's always an easy way to get those um, scenes I'm thinking I'll just stick with one roll today. And then I've got a couple more errands to run here in the city and then have dinner and catch a train back. So plenty of action just as I arrived to Fed Square here. One of those uh, moments when there's quite a few consecutive shots. I didn't even really have the mindset to narrate as I was uh, taking the shots, sorry, but uh, you probably saw it all as it unfolded there from one scene to another. And again, just trying to work some of those scenes and wait for, for different moments. Meaning that I'm uh, almost at the end of the roll now, 32 shots in. So I think, yeah, we'll finish this roll and see what we get for the uh, end of this roll of Kenmere 400. Oh, you have? Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, now I'm on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Shooting. I tried to. I have a yeah. really flex though. Oh, so awesome. It, yeah, yeah. It's not very instant. It takes a while to know what process. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. so, always nice to bump into other street photographers. Matthew is actually one of the regulars that I uh, bump into here in the city, and I met him out on the street shooting. Uh, great guy, great photography. I'll put his Instagram up on the screen now so that you can um, see it, or you can head down to the description and definitely check out some of his awesome street photography work. So something obviously been going down here. I think the second shot had better timing on that one which is the reason why it's always good to stay for a second shot at least if you feel like you need it
All right, there's a bit of light breaking through across the road there. So let's definitely cross. In fact, it might be down at the next intersection at Elizabeth Street. So I want to head down there because it looks like the light's hitting there now. So I still need to wait for stationary subjects around uh, this area because I won't really be able to capture that fast movement of people crossing. Because I'm on uh, ISO 400 film, this is just one of the limitations, but we can try and work within that. So I'll probably just camp here for a bit. People looking into this window with the reflections. Might have gotten that smile, that little moment there, not sure. That light was gone as quickly as it came. As you can see, the sun's already dipped behind that cloud. There was really only one minute's worth, but it was still worth uh, rushing down here to get a couple of tries. All right, I think I'll end things there. There is one shot left on the roll still, but uh, my action cam's about to run out of battery. So I think I'll just uh, end the session here. If I do take one last shot that's worth showing, I'll show it now. I want to end the session of shooting here, go get some dinner, finish what I need to do in the city, head home, develop the film, Maybe share the negatives contact sheet with you. You would have seen all the individual shots by now, so maybe I'll show a few favorites. If you enjoyed this, I'll be taking this combo to Bangladesh with me to shoot there. It's been four years since I shot there back in 2018. So I want to be taking the MA with a bunch of uh, HP5 and some color film maybe. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to see those when I get back and edit those videos. Otherwise, just come back and check in. Hopefully that will be heaps of photography content from there and I'll see you in the next one.